sorry to disappoint you this is not one of those videos of someone with a, a VR headset on and making a fool of themselves but rather uh, the perspective of a 64 year old man uh, and if you are like me fairly old and you're uh, looking to buy one of these systems this may help you I've never played computer games really, never been all that impressed by them. My first ever computer game, you might remember, if you're old like me, was one of the old tennis games and you just plug it straight into your TV. Really simple, a couple of controls and uh, I used to have a lot of fun with that. And then uh, the Commodore 64 came out in the mid 80s and I bought my kids one each. I played a couple of the simple games on that but then Things started getting a bit more complicated. We had the Atari, and then we had the uh, the PC, and then the, the Mac, and there was a few other things like the Nintendo 64. Um, you know the routine. And to be honest, I was never at all impressed by those games. My kids would be playing them, and I go up and I'd look. Oh, show us your game. And the game would start off with this amazing animation. I thought, oh, this is going to be brilliant. And then it would quickly. Uh, deteriorate and we'd have this horrible sort of blocky grainy mess. I can remember my kids playing Tomb Raider and I was thinking can you actually see what's going on there? I, I just didn't find it at all appealing. Anyway recently uh, my son who's now in his late 30s told me about the Oculus Rift system which if you don't know is one of the uh, contenders uh, in 2017 as I'm doing this video and in his words, he said if he bought one he'd never leave the house. Well I'm retired, semi-retired, I'm, I'm a musician by trade. Um, I do a few YouTube videos, tutorials on various instruments. But I did fancy something that would give me a, a something else to do other than uh, playing instruments all day long. So uh, it's kind of appealed to me. So I did my usual hours and hours of research on the internet. And uh, ended up in the game store in uh, Lakeside, quite near to where I live. I thought I'd get laughed out of the store because, you know, this old chap going in there with his wife asking about some cool computer system. I have to say they were really lovely. I had three guys showing me the Oculus Rift. I've always been very afraid of heights, so I'm not ashamed to admit that I held my wife's hand as I went in for the first time. And I was actually pretty nervous, quite scared and very impressed by it. Uh, then I found out the price which with the computer they were offering in the store, you need a, a fast PC to run an Oculus Rift system. It was running out to about two and a half thousand pounds, which, you know, pretty crazy. So went home, did a bit more research, ended up in another game store a few days later, tried out the PlayStation VR system. And although it's probably not as sharp as the Rift, I thought at the time it was good enough for what I needed, so I ended up buying it and it cost me just over £700. So what do you need to get up and running? Well you need a PlayStation, uh, you need a PlayStation 4. I've got the 500 gigabyte a slimline one here. Um, I did ask about buying the Pro, I would have gone to that, the, the PS4 Pro, but the guy said you don't really need that unless you're playing games on a 4K telly. Well I've, I've got an old 1080 Sony Bravia telly here and it's, it seems absolutely fine. I said, will it make my VR experience much better? He said not, though I've actually read on the internet that it, it does, so I'm not sure, but um, you know, it seems fine what I've got. So yeah, you need a, a PS4, PlayStation 4. You need a dual shot controller, which you get with the PlayStation 4. Uh, you need a camera, which I've got set up here, the PlayStation 4 camera. Uh, they cost around about £40 and uh, you need VR software, you need some games. What have I got here? Um, I've got uh, Eve Valkyrie, oh, Valkyrie, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, and I've got uh, VR Worlds, which is, which is pretty good. So yeah, I've got a few bits and pieces there. Um, I've also got two of these Move controllers, which I personally haven't used. My wife used them in the um, uh, London Heist game and, and you need these if you're going to do one of those games where you have to pick things up and drop things and I'm not sure if you definitely need these to play that game but anyway I've got them haven't really used them yet you know I've only had it for a week so you know it's early days you may be able to see on here there's a, a breakout box that you need to plug everything into um, I bought it on the Thursday I uh, went to see uh, 
a film on that evening, so I got back fairly late. Didn't try and set it up that night. I was pretty glad because the next morning it took me uh, about two hours to get it all set up and you know signed into all the various things you need to sign up for to make it work. But anyway, you know, I did get it up and running, and uh, I just thought I'd tell you how I've been getting on with it. I have to say, some of it is actually pretty amazing. Um, I played this Valkyrie, Eve Valkyrie game, or Valkyrie, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty jaw-dropping. You're in a, a spacecraft in deep space, great fun uh, flying around, blowing things up, it's the usual thing as you'd imagine, but the graphics are, you know, they're pretty good. I mean, it's not meant to be photorealistic, it's just, you know, an animation, I suppose. But it is good. You have to be a bit careful with the old stick because it can make you feel quite sick if you if you roll and fly really fast. Uh, I don't. I can just about stand it. Some of the games I've tried are too much for me. I just can't stand the, the, the motion. And a lot of people have said they get motion sickness. And if you get that, for goodness sake, stop straight away because you will make yourself feel very ill indeed. You know, the effects pass fairly quickly, but it's, it's a bit horrible. You can get a bit of motion sickness playing uh, Valkyrie or Valkyrie, uh, but it's not as bad as some titles. See, I use the T word there, I'm, I'm learning the lingo. I actually like the VR experiences probably better than the games. Uh, I downloaded a free film called Alumet, which is truly stunning. It's a short film based on the uh, Hans Christian Andersen story, The Match Girl. It's set in this city in the clouds and you can actually stand up in the city and look around and look underneath things and inside things um, and, you know I can't really do it justice explaining it you just have to you know download it and try it and like I say it's completely free of charge and it's amazing it's not perfect it's a bit blurry in places but it is um, nonetheless a fairly impressive piece of software from what I've seen um, animations seem to work better than real life films some of those uh, the, the blurriness seems worse the fact that it's a real life thing the, the animation seem to work out better the actual PlayStation headset got it down here it's actually a very nice piece of kit it's uh, very comfortable when you put it on I'm a little bit scared every time I do put it on of, uh, of breaking it because it's you know it's uh, what I tend to do is I put my thumb and you can see I put my thumb in there and then press the button and pull it out, but it's, I'm a little bit scared of breaking, obviously it's elasticated in some way I'm guessing, I've heard tales of the elastic breaking, but I'm, you know, I'm pretty careful with it, but it's actually very comfortable, the big pain of course is all this clobber, all this gear that's attached to it, because obviously um, it has to be uh, all plugged in before you can use it, it's a bit of a pain when you want to look behind you, because obviously the VR world is completely 360, or it should be, and when you look round you can see things behind you, and it's, you know, it's pretty amazing, but it is a bit of a pain, all these wires and things dangling down. So I'm guessing in time, like these uh, DualShock controllers, um, it will be wireless, and that will be a really good thing, because the wires are, uh, it's not a deal breaker, but they are a bit of a pain, it has to be said. Um, the headset is not completely immersive, in other words you can see a little bit of light, a little bit of the real world underneath and for an old scaredy cat like me it's quite good, it's quite reassuring to see a little bit of your real world while you're in virtual reality, I'm, I'm not sure I'd be able to take being completely immersed, although I know a lot of people don't like that, they like the, the full experience, um, but I, you know, as I say I get a little bit um, anxious when I'm in virtual reality. Even, I have to say, even in a nice little film like Alumet, I still feel a bit shaky, a little bit worried. I'm going to get plunged down to the ground or something. So for me, I didn't worry about seeing a little bit of, of daylight. One thing is a bit strange is that when you look down, you expect to see your legs and your hands. Of course, you don't. Some of the games when you're using the um, move controllers, you, you can see virtual hands. And uh, very often you can see a representation of the dual shot controller floating in front of you but it's not exactly where it is where you're holding it in real life it's a bit hard to explain but that's a bit disconcerting one thing that's very important is to set the camera up make sure that you've you know got it set up properly so that it's tracking your movement the idea is that this camera tracks the lights on your headset so that it knows when you're moving and then you can respond uh, to the virtual world accordingly 
Um, I've no idea how it really works. It's a, a, a real miracle. It's the first, I was saying to my wife the other day, it's the first bit of uh, technology that's come out in a very long while that's really impressed me. I think the last time I was very impressed was uh, the video recorder back in the late 70s, early 80s. So this, you know, it's pretty miraculous. Like I say, it's definitely not perfect. No matter how much you adjust the um, um, headset backwards and forwards, uh, sometimes you just can't stop the blurriness and some some titles are worse than others, like I say. If you are a bit nervous like me, what I tend to do is I have my finger hovering over the, uh, the PlayStation button and if you press that, uh, you can escape from the virtual world instantly. And so uh, you know, if you're starting to get a bit anxious and you don't know your way out, that's a good way to, to get out quickly and then you press it to go back in. I have to say that these things are beautifully designed. Uh, the ergonomics on them are amazing. I don't know who designed this. I'm, I think it's a Japanese guy. Uh, they haven't really changed, I don't think, that much over the years since the, the first PlayStation. Uh, this one's got a pad on the front of it, um, two joysticks, loads of controls. And at first you think, oh, what do they all do? But uh, after a while you soon get used to the controls and it's just a nice thing to hold. And they vibrate as well. And there's a little speaker in there. Um, yeah, really good. And the, uh, the, the camera here has a microphone on it so you can pick your voice up and in some of the games it's quite funny because it actually changes the pitch of your voice. So like I say, I, I don't play for very long. They recommend to ease yourself into it. Uh, I tend to play for about 20 minutes a day and then, then, then maybe if I want to carry on just play a normal PlayStation game. Um, I definitely wouldn't play one of the horror games though I know some people love that kind of thing but I think it would <laughs> scare the living daylights out of me. As for the PlayStation itself and just playing normal games, I mean, it really is a good bit of kit. One criticism I would make is that uh, they tend to, you know, assume too much prior knowledge. Sometimes what you need is a bit of basic information. For instance, I bought a game called The Golf Club uh, the other night, just fancy playing a normal game, not, not a virtual reality game. And, you know, I'm pretty computer literate. I've used computers for a long, long while. And so is my wife. But we really struggled just to even figure out how to make a shot. Okay, eventually we did. But nowhere on the game, in any of the tutorials that we could see, did it actually say, this is how you make a shot. Likewise, in the game Valkyrie on the, uh, the virtual reality, you know, you sort of get into the game and you think, what on earth is going on here? There doesn't really seem to be any real explanation of what to do. I'm not some cool gamer kid who's been doing this all my life, you know. And I think for a, a new, old person like me, sometimes it's a bit like, I suppose, if you've just picked up your first computer at age 64, you know, there, there's lots of help for, I think they're called silver surfers. Um, I think we need some help for silver gamers like me. But like I say, I haven't had a chance to use these, um, these Move controllers. Um, I did pick up a couple of the uh, Oculus Rift uh, touch controllers in, in the shop, they, they showed me those and they felt really good, they've got, they feel much more like hands, this is just essentially um, uh, a, a wand and they light up, um, and I think they're probably good in, in some games but uh, as I say I can't really tell you too much about these at the moment, one thing I do know is that they're, they've really cranked the price up and this, this is old tech that they used before in, in, you know, for old games and uh, I think about a year ago these were about 10 quid each, now they've cranked them up and I think they're about 80 quid a pair now. So, um, but you know, fair play to them I suppose, you know, they're, they're going to cash in while they can. From a, a social point of view, actually I worried if I bought this would I be spending hours and hours in it and uh, you know, my poor wife would be sitting in another room waiting for me to emerge from virtual reality. Well, like I said, you know, you can't go in and stay in for too long so that's one thing. But actually, that can be a lot of fun. We had the family around for our Easter Sunday dinner last week, and uh, we had them all in here, and, and it's quite fun watching someone with a headset on uh, experiencing the world of virtual reality. And there's some games. Um, there's the, uh, the playroom, the VR playroom, which is, on the face of it, quite a babyish bit of software, but actually, it's incredibly well done. And it's quite fun. You can actually join in... Uh, helping people negotiate their way through the games. I would really recommend that one. Um, it's free and there are about five or six kind of mini games within it. Okay, it's very cartoony and, you know, 
childlike, um, but it is really good and it's a lot of fun getting the whole family joining in like we did last week, so I would thoroughly recommend that one. The jury's out on what it actually does to your eyesight, I'm not sure. My, my eyesight isn't brilliant. I wear reading glasses and distance glasses. Um, some people put their glasses on and then put the, uh, the headset on top, but um, uh, I didn't find that helped me at all. But, um, you know, as I say, it's not something you want to do for too long in any case, but I, I hopefully it's not something that's going to damage your eyesight long term. One thing that I tend to do is to use the sound coming out of the TV set. You can, or you're supposed to put a, a set of headphones on. Some people use a headset with a mic so they can talk to people online. Um, I don't tend to put a, a set of headphones on. And once again, it's just this thing of being a bit afraid of it. Um, but obviously the, the sound is incredible. And some of, the, some of the games have amazing sound. That Valkyrie game I keep going on about. The sound in that is really, really good. Um, but I, I tend to just use the sound coming out of the TV at the moment. Anyway, um, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it interesting. It's uh, an old chap's um, perspective on the PlayStation uh, VR system. Um, once I've owned this for a few more months, I'll perhaps do another video letting you know how I'm getting on. And obviously if you've got any uh, comments or questions, uh, do get in touch. Anyway, thanks for watching.